Well, hello everyone and a welcome back to the journey as we head to the German Grand Prix, entering the second half of the season. Not quite the uh, the summer, in big air quotes, break uh, just yet, uh, but still it is time to head to the Hockenheim Ring, especially after the disappointment of Silverstone, looking forward to this one. Uh, and after qualifying, we line up in seventh place, not too bad, but it's behind a front row lockout of Hamilton and Button uh, yeah, for the McLaren team. Ferrari are on road two, Red Bull all over road three as well, uh, so not too bad. Rosberg out qualifying his team we're out qualifying our teammates so that's a good sign uh, but really no major shocks in this qualifying session maybe the big one is Rubens Barrichello in 13th whereas his teammates down in the 17th but other than that not too shocking as we get ready for the German Grand Prix okay decent quality but should be a tough one. Mostly because there's some rain on the horizon. Okay, not too bad. Oh my god, straight down speed's real bad. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know why I was expecting a bit of a look down the inside from Alonso there. I think I'm still like my sim racing mind of, of uh, Hockenheim Ring. Every time you get to the hairpin, someone's looking. <laughs> Go on, Massa. You could say he's had a m massive first lap. What? Okay, this is this is solid. This is solid. We're battling for the podium. Brilliant overtaking. Nice job. Okay, they're very early on the brakes there. Hot down. Easy, mate. Oh, I spoke too soon. Bit of exceeding track limits there, the classic Hockenheim ring line. Okay, I think like we've got okay speed to keep Button behind, but not to catch Massa and Hamilton. Uh, I got on the brakes and then got off them. <laughs> I was braking really early there, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah no, I'll just release the brake pedal a little bit. Straight on. Perfect. Hamilton's in the pits. Interesting. Is he two stopping then? Mass is doing as he should, trying to win the uh, German Grand Prix. Retribution. Because <laughs> Lulu is not faster than you. Hot damn. He is gown. Oh, that was close. I don't like those sausages on the outside of uh, that corner. They scary. Are we closing up there? Yeah, I think so. 8.2, keep an eye on it. I swear it was around about 9 point something a second ago. Maybe he's taking his foot off the pedal a little bit whilst uh, Hamilton's not there anymore. 7.2, yeah, it's come down quite a bit. I think we just stay on this for a little bit. Maybe till like lap 8. We will actually box this lap. I know we always, I'm always like, yeah, maybe we'll go like two or three laps. No, 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 it's fine. We'll come in this lap. Okay, 
I hate the pantry here. It's fine. Okay, we're in. We shouldn't get delayed here. But we'll see. It depends on when they release Weber. Although Weber, I think, got delayed a bit there. Go. Oh, my God. That was so slow. Oh, you love to see it. Is that Hamilton? Oh, it's Button. Oh, God. That is... Okay, we've made the wrong strategy call here. <laughs> Whoopsie! Ugh. Easy. So I think we're fourth, aren't we? Aren't we? Because Hamilton will still be second, Button's third, and Mass is leading. Oh, Lewis. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. What are you doing, son? What are you doing, son? Should be able to outbreak him here. He says, oh, my God. Come on. Three point six seconds. So we've lost out quite a bit because of the mistake into this corner. Can we close it back down? That's the question. Three seconds. But we do gain a lot in S one, so No. Yeah, we're not catching. We need to find a lot of time, and I'm not really sure where it is. Like, I feel pretty on the limit for me. Still not going to rule out the podium. I think Hamilton's still got another stop to do. And that might slow them all down in that grouping. So we just need to avoid mistakes, keep the gap as close as possible. Yeah, that's Hamilton in the pit lane. Okay. I mean, that was definitely exceeding track limits as well at T1. <laughs> I just don't think it's going to slow the uh, the other two down enough for us to catch. Obviously, when Hamilton pit last time, Massa started going a bit slower. Oh, Lewis. I think we're a point of defending the hairpin from Weber. Uh, well, defending the hairpin? Defending the podium. Oh, my God. I can eek Spinglish. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh man, Button is really closing in on Massa as well. Uh. Find an apex, please, mate. Could JB be the new FA? Jensen is faster than you. I don't think the gap times are going to come down that much, but also, yeah, they're not teammates. Hilarious that team orders were banned at this point in Formula One. <laughs> I've got I've got such a thing against team orders, and they make no sense in my book. Like, uh, sorry, against team orders, against the banning of team orders. That's what I meant. Uh, makes no sense in my book. Like, it's so hard. To, it's it is almost impossible to police because anything can be a code, and then you only get penalised because it's obvious. So, like. Yeah, but then like teams will be like, oh, well, you know, if you see a couple of flashes from the pit wall, that'll be this, blah, 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 blah. yeah, whatever. Like, Or even if it's just sort of like, um, oh, the uh, wind's starting to change direction. That means put your foot down or that means let your teammate through or whatever. Like, it's so easy to mask. Things like that, you know what I mean? There's been a few championships in sim racing that have uh, tried banning team orders. And I've always been like, why? You literally can't police it in sim racing. So, so just don't bother. 
If, like, if, if it happens, it happens. Also, you can't differentiate between a team order and a mate giving a position up to a mate. Or even just someone trying to play a smarter game and not try and fight for that. But you, you can't, you, you just can't believe it. Ridiculous. Anyway, rant over. No, Lewis, you silly boy. Thankfully, they're real bad at the hairpin. Hot damn. One more lap. To add yet another podium to our little list of podiums. Surprised Hamilton didn't close in, actually. This would not be classified as a uh, an interesting race. So it started out quite well, but then... Um, it just died out a bit, which, to be fair, kind of happens a lot in this game. Look, we'll take it. Another podium. Bish, bash, bosh. Bish, bash, bosh, indeed. That is a race over and another podium, our fifth of the season, uh, which means we've got the joint most podiums with quite literally everyone else. That's fine. Great win for Felipe Massa's third consecutive podium and, of course, his second victory of the season. Uh, Jensen Button, back-to-back uh, -back podiums, of course, the British Grand Prix and here at the German Grand Prix. Uh, not great for the likes of our teammate Sitter, of course, in his home Grand Prix, but then again, he did better at uh, my home Grand Prix, so uh, fair enough is what it is. Obviously, you can see the final few finishes. Uh, no real shocks in here apart from Vitaly Petrov who's having uh, a struggle the last few races finished 22nd and 21st the last couple the only change in the point standings position wise is Jensen Button moving ahead of us courtesy of that podium uh, but we dropped down to fifth so you know fair enough uh, things getting quite tight in the drivers championship quite tight in the constructors as well uh, as we get ready to head into the Hungarian Grand Prix which of course will then lead into a, a couple of week break before we go to uh, to Belgium over the Christmas period so you're gonna have to wait and see what's gonna happen in Hungary